All right, so let's check out this first Kendra G video. Hello? Hello? Hi, what's your name? Hi. Imani, I did not actually think you were going to pick me. <laughs> you are here, Imani. You know I need? Hi. Imani, now where are you calling me from? Where do you... Hello? Can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, I love that. I love the shirt. Sorry, I just knocked a bunch of stuff down. Yes, I can hear you. Imani, where do you live? Outside of Dallas. Outside of Dallas. How old are you? 25. 25. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a salon manager. I cut so, hair. You cut hair? Salon manager and you cut hair? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not like, that's my thing. Okay. Sorry. What's I'm nervous. Name? I know. Don't be nervous, girl. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. Pisces. Delightful. Yeah. Absolutely delightful. Delightful. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. All right, let's do it. We got Imani. Is it Imani? Imani. Imani. Named um, after Lizzo, Imani lives outside Dallas, 25 Pisces. Salon manager. She cuts hair. No kids. What kind of man you looking for, baby girl? Um, Honestly, just somebody who's healed. I definitely, as a Pisces, I, I tend to get the ones who are in their healing process, and I'm supposed to take care of the rest, but I'm over it. So just somebody who knows themselves, who are healed, who knows what they want, moves with intent. Good okay. Goodness, who knows how to take care of a woman and family. I'm a little bit old school, but not really, but nothing special, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. What are your deal breakers? This is the thing, right? It's kind of a red flag, right? Already that, that what she just said. I'm a little old school, but not really. Right? Because then you got to think that that, that that says something about how she goes about it, right? Uh, looking at the title, right? I could see that. It happens with a lot of women right now where they want traditional values but not be shackled to traditional values right right they so in essence they want a man to be traditional but for them not to be traditional where they don't need to be shackled by traditional values but they want the man to be shackled by traditional values so this is why they women want to border right on this right i'm traditional i'm old school but not really so really where you're old school in that you believe a man should provide but not really where you don't believe yourself oh i'm being submissive or i am the wife that stays at home or take care of the children or you don't believe that right that's the thing where women love to you know skate between the lines right they love to you know, just jump back and forth or like they love to have everything, right? Perfection, right? So it is to traditional values on the man's side, modern ideology on the woman's side. And this is why, right? She's she's pretty. Uh, she's young. No kids. Awesome. But you wonder why she might not finding the right type of man. Because of that, that kind of value, right? I saw a little while back, right? I saw this uh, TikTok video of a woman saying, I want a man that's conservative, but not really conservative. It's like, it's like, it's like, this is the thing, right? They want everything. They want perfection. But in essence, a lot of it counteracts each other, right? They don't mesh well. So it's like, oh, I want a conservative man, but I'm liberal. What? It's counteractive, right? They're counterintuitive to each other. They're opposites, you know, black and white, uh, good and evil. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah you can make, get, maybe get a little bit of fudge, right? A little bit of a um, blurriness to it, but it's like, it's, it's usually, it's very hard to borderline both. It's very hard to it because in essence, they very counteractive with each other. They're very counterintuitive. 
plenty. Um, honestly, just somebody who doesn't lie, somebody who knows what they want, who doesn't come into a situation with false intent. Um, I feel like a lot of people these days like to get what they want out of situations. I feel like everybody comes into your life with an agenda. It just depends on what kind of agenda. And I just want somebody who has good intent for me. So whether you come into my life and want to be a friend, you can say that. Or just because I'm open to friends too, but preferably a man. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're 25. What's the age range you want to date? I prefer they stay under 30, 30 or under. I'll take somebody that's older, but I prefer you. The older you are, the more attractive you'll have to be, the more you have to make, because at the end of the day, I am 25. So if you're going to be like 45, slide it into my inbox. I prefer you know what you're getting yourself into as far as that age difference. Oh, so, okay, that's your dog we see. Hi, hi doggy. Yes, T'Challa. T'Challa, like like Black Panther. Thank you for getting that. I really love you for getting that. Yes, his name. No is one doesn't get that. That's where that's from. Nobody gets it until I say his full name. His full name is T'Challa Wakanda Ware, and nobody gets it until well, I say. Well, said T'Challa, I thought of Black Panther. You know your stuff, though. That's why I like you. I've been trying to get on here for like a year. <laughs> okay. Now let me get straight. I, I want to break this down real quick. So if a man is forty-five years old. And he wants to date you. How much money does he have to make? He's gonna have to be a baller, cause that's about a 20, 20 year age gap. So, or at least like you know, attractive and making some money and everything, cause that's twenty years. So, when it comes to you being older, that's when I'll be a little bit more petty about financials. But if you're twenty five, I definitely I'm in the growing stage myself. I'm not making a hundred thousand a year. I don't necessarily expect you to either. I'm not delusional, but at the same time. 20 years is a bit much, and you knew better in the first place. Oh, okay. This is logical. I, I think I actually understand what you're saying. I've been on your side from the start. I've been trying to get on here. <laughs> I mean, because, like, yeah, you're like, and I, and I think that is, if we're going to be real, that is why women tend to date older, because the man is more established and has money. And they always say men with the money want girls your age so you're just saying yes if you want a 20 year age gap you got to have a coin you can't be I, I would say this right it is what it is right yes you are pretty much yeah. as bad as it sounds you're selling your youth for his assets right for so he's buying your youth this is something where I've been there, right? I've been there where women say, oh, uh, I want you to sugar daddy and stuff like that. I just, I really don't want to do that, right? I, that's, that, I've said it to a friend, right? I've said it on my uh, my podcast where I prefer to date not a woman not too far off my age, not, not in, at least not 20 years, because then you get something like this, right? Because I, and I don't follow her. I don't follow her to her. Yeah. He's essentially buying her beauty, buying her youth. Okay, I get it. Uh, so I, I'm not, I'm not looking to buy anyone's youth and beauty, right? But this is a, this is a thing where I think it's kind of tricky. Okay, I think it's kind of tricky because let's say this, right? What if she's dating a man around her age, right? So he's not making much and stuff like that, but she's already doing that. This is the thing, right? She's already doing that path already. She's already dating men her age, yet she's still having problems. Now, she said, okay, I could date a man that's older than me, but he's going to have to have the finances, the assets to qualify to date me. So, you think about this, right? And, again, when you go into with a mindset like that and stipulations for someone who's older than you which is I said it's fine but you think like this men that men that are older than you that falls in that kind of stipulation right falls in that bracket where he's pretty much buying your youth well he's buying your youth until he's tired of it this is a thing where you're going in it really with a short term mindset okay you date men around your own age, fails, doesn't work, pretty much continue the cycle of what you're doing right now. So that's a failure in itself. 
Then you you okay, you could date older men, but they have to have the assets to assets and looks is okay, whatever I guess. To get you. Okay, well things like that, right? It's still superficial. Very superficial. Well, those men will just date you and use you until they're done using you. That's the thing where women don't understand. That ain't this ain't marriage. It, it ain't leading towards long-term relationship nor a marriage. So so fine. Now you now you're dating a man that's, you know, good-looking, older than you, have the finances, have the assets. Well, he dates you, he uses up your youth, you know? He uses up your youth, your 30, 35, whatever, on to the next one. Mm. Now that you're older, now what? Right? Now that you're used by these men that can afford you, now what? This is the thing where, I, where women just, they're going about dating very superficially and very short term. This is the thing I, 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 I you know, we'll continue. Broke and try to talk to me 20 years old. Exactly. Cause they but like you to make, but, but if you fall in love with a guy that's 25, you will understand he's only 25. You guys can build together. Yeah, of course. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm doing okay for 25 and everything, but I'm not making a hundred thousand a year. So like, if you are, please feel free. But like, if you're not, that's not, and I'll be all it's room to grow at that point. We can grow with each other there. I mean, listen, I have, to, I mean, listen, I don't know how the comment section is going to feel about it, but I think your reasoning actually does make sense. I hope they agree. I don't know. I can't see them right now. So. I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense. Let's keep going. Okay. So what are your deal breakers? Um, I think, did you just ask me that? I think you the deal breakers. Well. Okay. Cause I, I know I went off my road of questions cause I wanted to deep dive and I mean, you said I, the guy had to be older. Okay. Let's go to look then. How does it get the look a certain way? Home. Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, I, I've dated outside of my race a lot and everything. So as far as like race and stuff goes, I couldn't really care less if I'm being honest, but I'm five foot 10. So I prefer you at least be five foot 10. I have dated shorter men, so I don't really have a problem with it, but I do wear heels a lot and stuff. So if I got to spend 30 minutes at the beginning of the night, like compensating for your ego, because I'm six foot two right now, I don't want to do that. So you approach me on that level based off your own personality. Okay. Okay. Um, fair enough. So we kind of talked about money. Let's just ask the question directly so we can all be on the same page. Is there a money requirement? Not at this moment, but I do prefer not to work. So long term speaking, I feel like 80,000 is a good place. Really. I don't, I don't need too much. I'm not one who needs everything in the world, but at the same time, I don't aspire to work. Um, I prefer to like the housewife type of thing. I won't lie about it. So a good amount of money in the long run, you gotta have ambitions and goals to be able to get there though. So if you're on the road, then we're good. But 80,000 if you wanna set a number. Okay. Now, um, can he have kids already? If you have kids, like one, baby mom is enough and preferably she's nice because I I don't really necessarily, I love children. I want children. I want many children. I want to adopt at least one. But if you have a kid, I just, as long as the baby mama situation is, is okay. And there's no more than one, unless they're twins, I can do with that. Okay. Okay. Um, and you want kids yourself, obviously, right? Yes. When you get married? Yes. All right. This is let's my baby. Kendra, let's do the Kendra Cam. All right, I'm wearing shorts right now. I'm I'm just off work. And where you work again? You're a oh, salon manager. Yes. Okay, you're thin. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm kind of skinny. I don't have a butt or nothing. <laughs> I'm a little funny. So you're, you like a model butt. shape? You have a model shape. If anybody want to hire me for modeling too, we can do that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so Imani, when was your last relationship, honey? Technically, 
like six months ago, but that was short lived. So in reality, like almost four years. Four years. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Can I be vague? It's been some time, but it was, it's been within 12 months though, too. I thought that meant like you. So you don't okay. have to answer at all. You can say, I don't want to answer. And that's, that's the answer. Um, Alrighty. <laughs> what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I talk a lot. I'm working on that because I tend to like overspeak people and everything. I'm fairly sensitive. Not saying that like I'm crying all the time and everything, but I'm one of those gray area type of people. I always feel like, I don't know. I always feel like everybody can be nice. I'm too nice. That's the third one too. I'm too nice and that can be kind of annoying. So if you're the type of person who wants me to be like evil towards everybody just because we're in a relationship, I feel like that's fairly childish and I'm not doing it. It's just no reason to act like that all the time. But sometimes that is fairly irritating to people, so. Okay. Um... Let me uh, talk a little bit more. Like, um, she's, she seems like a decent person, right? I mean, you know, nothing crazy. I just feel like women like this, right? They're probably going about things the wrong way. Uh, you want to date a man you're around your own age, right? 25, maybe 30. You ain't going to be a housewife. Not easily, right? I'm not saying that there aren't men that don't, you know, around that age don't make a lot. But, I mean, they'll make the six figures to, you know, provide for his you know, his partner. There are, but again, it's rare. It's not, there's not, they're not everywhere. So, this is a thing where I think she, she's very borderline on things, right? If she wants a man to take care of her, she definitely probably needs a man that's a bit older. But this is the thing where I, I don't know. I just, because it's like, this is where I go back into it. Like, those type of men, right? They might just use her up. That's just, that's, that's the thing I'm kind of thinking about, right? I think that's the kind of the flaw in it, that they might use her up. And that might, I don't know, I just I just think that that's, that, that's hard, right? Because I said this before, right? A stay-at-home mom, being a stay-at-home wife, is a luxury that most people can't afford. Most people qualify for 50-50. This is, that's the thing. So, it is very hard. I mean, like, we, we see it all on all this online, right? Um, trying to be the soft life and all these things that women are talking about, which is crazy because it, it seems like they're trying to go backwards, but whatever. But how the economy is, how people's, how lives are, 50-50 is pretty much it. You know, people think that, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that. Well, you, you're going to want that until it's too late, right? I mean, you're going you're gonna to not want it until it's too late. Right, and so that you're gonna get a lot less than fifty fifty then. So, I mean, all the power to her. She doesn't seem like a terrible person, you know. Uh, wanting that is not makes you terrible or anything. It's just, it's not a lot. It's not the probabilities, you know. The the, the statistics aren't on your side. Um, she is good looking. I'm not saying she's not, but still. There are a lot of good-looking women, so it's just it's, it would probably be a hard thing. Um, and was that three? I think yes. I'm too nice. I'm too sensitive, and I talk too much. Okay. And what is um what is the age range you prefer to date? Um, twenty-five ish to thirty-five. Okay. Okay. So you don't really want to date a man twenty years older. 
Not really. Like, I just feel like there will be an age gap just because I don't have children yet and everything. And I would love to start a family. Like, as a child, that's what I've always dreamed of is starting a family and everything. Why pick a fence? My grandmother raised me on that aspect. So I just feel like that much of an age gap, we really wouldn't be able to, like, you're going to be gone by the time they graduate. That's crazy. I can't do that. But at the same time, I don't just want you to you, I will hope your husband will still be alive. G465, your child will graduate at 18. I don't know. Not what would they be putting in the food these days. Um, I'm just, I just feel like that's too much of an age gap to where you will, we will be. And th you know what? This is fine. Don't, see, this, this is the thing, right? Don't date someone older. I, I don't think, I mean, do what is, do what you're attracted, you know, what, what makes you feel good, right? What was right for you. The thing is that this is why I said, right? Not every, most women, I don't, in my mind, like, right? At best, they date like a couple years, right? Two, three years difference, if that. So, but this is the thing, right? That's why I said most people don't qualify or they don't, they're not going to get the stay at home wife life. You will get 50-50. That's, that's, that's it, right? So look, look at this. Men, 25, 30. Well, you will build together. That's the thing. You're building together. So you're working. He's working. You're saving. He's saving. You're investing. He's investing. You're building together. So this is a thing where, okay, unless you want to, you know, when you're 40, I guess, then you could stay, be a stay-at-home mom. Okay. But while your twenties and your thirties, no, you're building. So this that's that's the thing where I said, that's why you know what, it's don't date. I, this is the thing where I don't think you know it. Dating older is for very select few women, right? Because again, it, it just doesn't it doesn't uh, fit a lot of people. But this is a thing where you might be in a delusion where you think, oh, I want to be the stay-at-home wife. Well, how do you think certain women could get that? Is they date older. Because most men don't become financially stable or not at a good financial status until later in their age. Most men. Now, some men, they, they're, they're doing amazing and they could they get that status very early on. But that's not most men, right? There's a few men. There's few men that do that. Not most men. It's in like a whole part of my life that I picture with somebody else. So like growing into old age for myself personally, you won't be able to grow into an old age with me at that age. I mean, that's and fair. I, Listen, that's yeah. fair. I was just saying if, if and I'm not, and I'm not even saying you should say to man that's 45. I'm just saying if you did, I would pray he would still be alive when your child's for 18. But that's neither here nor there. Let's keep going. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm thoughtful. I'm nice. I'm kind. I really do like taking care of people and everything, even though that's not everything a relationship should be. I just, I'm a very loving person when it comes to everybody. I'm family oriented. I'm just, I'm a kind person to be around. I try to understand everybody. I don't discriminate. I've dated outside of my race. I've dated bisexual men and stuff. I'm very open. This life okay. is- Ooh, girl, The more you talk, Imani, the more I learn. You dated a bisexual man? I've dated transsexual men. Like I really don't discriminate. I really think that love is, I'm one of those people that genuinely feels like I don't think there's no other reason to be on this earth other than to love and to be loved and to spread love and spread that type of energy with each other. I'm kind of an energy person. I'm not like the spiritual type. I believe in the Lord and everything, but I think once you get down to the basis of every religion and every aspect of life, it does boil down to love. So I'm just very loving and open and stuff. Those relationships didn't work out for a reason. I can say that, but with that being said, I was definitely open to try and I would be open to it again under certain circumstances. So would you date a woman too? I've dated women, yes. Oh, you dated but women, women do Ooh. scare me. Girl, you're 25, you don't live more life than me. I've lived a little too much life. I'm the wisdom auntie and stuff. People come to me and just ask me all types of questions. So I'm not Girl, gonna lie. I just... I've been focusing on a man this whole time. Is that not what you're looking for? 
I mean, I suppose I prefer a man because I do want to have children and stuff like that. And I prefer they be mine. But at the end of the day, if if I fall for you or you're not a man, then like I'm open to other things. I do prefer a man these days, but I'm open to other options as well. Okay, we'll try. Well, Imani is, you know, um, when Houston thought she was every woman, <laughs> she didn't meet Imani. I do know Whitney. Free woman. It's it all in me, sense. literally. <laughs> literally, it's man, the human being to be outside of Dallas. Yes. Okay. Preferably. All right. Um, do you mind if the human being has children? No more than one, but preferably no. Okay, let's do it. Imani, outside Dallas, 25. Pisces, salon manager, cuts hair, no kids. How could the human... This is the thing, right? Um, and she she seems fine, right? No, nothing too crazy. Uh, I just wanted to say that part where this is the thing where women have to really like her. All her experiences has done what for her. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it benefited her anyway. But this is the thing where I gotta say where where. Women don't put actual careful thought into their future. At least when it comes to relationship-wise. Um, because you, you may think that she's doing it, right? She Yeah, she's thinking about kids. You, oh, they want, you know, the man, they want to grow old together and all that stuff. Great. But this is the thing where I hope that she doesn't think that, oh, I'm, I, want to, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. Because depending, I mean, depending on how what kind of life she wants to live, right? That's hard for a, if you want to be a middle class family, right? That will be very hard to have a stay at home mom. So this that's that's a, that's the key that women need to really. It's the it's the finances. Sometimes when it comes to relationship, women seem to not be able to plan or grasp okay most people can't afford it they can't afford a one one income family right they can't so this is a thing where because it's a struggle right you're not gonna be middle class if you want a one income you know family you're not gonna be middle class not most people are gonna be so like I said I best yeah she should date someone her around her age and build with that person and give up the idea of being a stay-at-home mom. This is something that a lot of people, a lot of women need to really understand. You're going to be working. That's just how it is, right? You date someone your own age and just work, you know? Raise a family. I like That's why I said 50-50. Tr true 50-50 where you're both contributing. You're both providing. You're both taking care of the kids. You're both taking care of the house. It's equal. I, I think that's that is perfect for you know modern people. So that's my view. All right, let's go for this.